This is a follow-up video to a video we did back November 10th, 2022 on a 2015 Chevy Traverse. This Traverse would go three or four weeks and go into reduced power mode and it would drive wherever you needed to go and uh, then before we could see it, it'd start running good again. We'd have a gajillion codes in it and, you know, most of the time when something's got a ton of codes and it's got a computer crapping out, but I just didn't feel like it was. So the video we made before was we replaced the throttle body because reduced power, we've had a lot of them in the past with a throttle body trying to act up and hell, they'll go six months in between acting up and then finally they'll start acting up a little bit more often. And that's usually what it is. But just because we had nothing else, we, we couldn't think of anything else to do and I'm not gonna stick a computer in something you know, just willy nilly. We replaced the throttle body. And the customer's a good friend of mine and he, he knew why we were doing it. We were doing it more as a diagnostic tool than anything else. So after we replaced that throttle body, it went about four weeks before it acted up again. Well, when it acted up, he was close to the shop one night about closing time and he came in and it was acting up while I was looking at it. I had the computer hooked up to it and I could see everything it was doing and I still couldn't figure out what it was. So before I could before I could get to the end of the rainbow and fix this thing, it started running good for no good reason. So he left it with us and I kept looking at things, looking at this and looking at that. And finally, just for, for lack of anything else to do, I checked the bolts in the fuse box. And uh, the video showing you I'm, I'm messing with the fuse box and what I found was I went to tighten the fuse box bolts up and they just start slip like they were slipping. So they ran out of threads and it acted like they weren't tightening the plugs up. So I took it apart, pulled the box out of it and get to looking at it. And those two bolts there in the video, those are the ones that pull the plugs up in the bottom of the box. Well, one of the plugs was not pulled up good. And so I got that thing here on the desk and I ohmed everything out and it had 15 or 16 codes in it. Well, every code that it had had something to do with one of the circuits that was on one plug that didn't feel like it was seated. Now that plug also, the, the, the spades, the, the male part, the male part of the connector in the fuse box, they had, they had that kind of black little white corrosion looking things, looking stuff on all the, all the pins in it. So, I cleaned all those up, I scraped them all off, I lubricated them, and I put it back. Well, I go to tighten up the bolts to pull those back up, and they go so far and they start slipping. So in this video, you saw that I cut the sides out of lock washers, and I put those lock washers between the bottom of the head of the bolt and the top of the flat washer that's made onto the bolt, and I could tighten those up and they would get tight. So that's all I did, I cleaned the connections off, on the on the spades in the fuse box i scraped them and lubricated them and then i put some spacers on the heads of those two bolts that pulled the plugs up now this thing's been working since about the middle of december it's back in here now because the battery went bad but it's it's nothing to do with any of this but so far it's fixed that i just thought i'd let you guys know the reason i just talked you through this instead of taking them apart and showing it to you it's fixed and I'm not gonna rock the boat. You know how it goes. I looked so hard for this and I think I finally found it. I don't wanna I don't wanna screw up my good luck.